Welcome to Wednesday, March 6th, middle of the week. We're going to take a look at three things in our daily reading today. We're going to take a look at the world overall, our sphere of influence, and then what does spirit, our higher self, our spirit guides, what did they want us to focus on and learn today? First, though, we're going to take a look at what chakra is going to be impacted the most for the day. And that's represented by the Page of Pentacles. Now, since this is a minor arcana card, it's dealing with one of four chakras. It's not pointing to a direct chakra. But the group of the pentacles is associated with the root chakra. Pentacles represent the material aspects, practicality, and physical well-being. They're associated with the element of earth, which corresponds to the root chakra, and it governs the stability, security, and survival aspects of our life. And pentacles often, they relate to finances, health, and the physical world. Since we're looking at the Page of Pentacles, this, the root chakra, is denoting something brand new in our wealth side of life coming in, and it's going to affect our root chakra, the stability side of our life. And it's not saying that it's a bad thing. It's just saying we've got something new that's going to be happening today. It's going to affect us, but it's going to be all right. But just as long as we know, we're a little off balance throughout the day. We're going to go ahead and move him up and off to the side a little bit. Because the next thing that I want to do is being able to use the Dragon Tarot cards. And again, we do this more for an energetic, to feel the energy. It kind of helps us understand the energy that's going to be going on around us. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to lay out for the world around us, for our own personal sphere of influence, and what does Spirit want us to know and work on today? Now we're going to come back with the, the rest of the Rider weight deck. And we're going to fill in the blanks and get the detail that we're going to need so that we can really understand how things are going. Move things in a little bit tighter so that everybody can see what's going on. So this is the world around us. This represents our sphere of influence, things that we can control things that are going on. And the last thing is taking a look what does Spirit want us to work on for the day? So there we've got our layout. Let's stop and take a look and see what's going on. So when we stop and take a look at the world overall. The Dragon Tarot is knowledge. So in the world today, we're going to be seeing something coming across with new knowledge or something that we did not know. Again, this could be more on a national level or on a state level, but it's the world that's out there, so to speak. But there's going to be a new piece of knowledge that comes out today. And we're going to be able to deal with that more from a point of strength, the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles very much representing the wealth, not so much just finances, but the wealth that we have, the wealth of knowledge, wealth of other things in life. So the Ace of Pentacles allowing us to say, we can deal with this because it directly impacts and deals with our own personal wealth. But I see this as a very good thing because right above it, the Ace of Swords, that means a new thought coming in with this knowledge. And to have two Aces 
and one part of a spread, that's really saying something. But this new way of thinking, a new thought train that comes in with this, but we will have to be careful to temper what we are doing with this new knowledge. Meaning, we don't want to run out and just blunder into doing things. We're going to have to give a little bit of temperance to what's happening when we look at this piece of knowledge coming out today. But again, because we've got two aces, that's, that's some seriously pointed material right there. When we look at our personal sphere of influence, the dragon tarot that is here is saying miracle. So there's going to be something rather wondrous happening in our world around us today. Something that we would go, wow, that's a miracle that that really happened. It's a very positive piece. It's not a degrading piece because there's not really much around it that is shaping it into something bad, even though we're looking at this guy over here. This miracle is going to be good, because right below it, working from that point of aspect of strength, is the sun, wholeheartedly brightening everything up, and bringing happiness, joy, being able to be giddy, if you really want to look at it that way. So this miracle, bringing happiness into our life, it almost brings wish fulfillment into our life. But the Seven of Cups, it's an abundance, and it gives us the capability to say, wow, I wish this could really happen, and that's the miracle that's coming along. Now, even though the Five of Pentacles is right there behind it, I don't see that really as a bad thing. This is just saying our wealth and our finances even though if they look a little bit bad at this point in time, it's going to be okay. Because right after that, this guy doesn't mean anything bad coming along. This is saying sudden change. Okay? Something stopping and something new starting. A sudden change of state. A change of being. So this miracle that we're going to have in our own life today, wholeheartedly making us happy, Saying, yes, we, we can look and say, I'd like to have this or that. Watching our finances changing, becoming better, and having that sudden change in our life directly connected with this miraculous event that is going to be going on. All of that in a very positive aspect. When we take a look at what Spirit would like us to know and to work on for the day, the Dragon card is saying challenge. And I can see how this is coming about, because again, with the Page of Pentacles as the Chakra card, the Root Chakra, it's going to be a little bit of a challenging part in our spiritual life today. But they want us to be able to look and say, the Hangman... We don't need to keep anything suspended any longer because the two of wands, we really need to start looking forward. How are we going to project? What is it that we're going to do? Because again, and this is why I said the wealth card earlier, the ten of pentacles, that's the top of the pentacle part before you get into the court cards. So this is saying there's going to be a lot of things happening, very good things, because this is saying we're sharing, we're able to interact with other people financially, materially, emotionally. The wealth of who we are is very good as it comes about. So this challenge that we have is to let go of what we've had suspended, put it into practice out in the world, and then watch how it transforms and becomes more than we might have even thought. So there we have our basic layout for the day. And here's the thing. These two swords in the world, these, the, the aces in the world, that's going to be an abrupt kind of oh, something coming about with this knowledge. And again, we've just got to temper it. 
these two kind of offset each other. And I'm not worried about the sudden changes that are going to happen because we're working from and being able to enjoy the sun, a point of happiness in how things are. We have four major arcana. They've got temperance, the sun, death, and the hangman. So the energy for the day is going to be rather balanced, believe it or not, because it's not a huge amount. It's going to be, you're going to feel it. And again, it might cause a little bit because of the chakra card. And we're saying the page of pentacles, the root chakra, you're going to feel it a little bit, but it's going to be a more of a, a subdued kind of feeling. It's not going to be something that rocks our boat right away. We have four pentacles on the board. We have the ace, the page, the five, and the ten. So we're going to notice a little bit more of things, even though the energy is going to be balanced, we're going to notice a little bit more of things from a financial or a wealth aspect as we go along for the day. But overall, this is going to be a good day. Okay? would be interested to see in the comments. Let me know that wondrous thing that happened during your day today. I know that I'll be looking for it as well. That's our reading for the day. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow.